My name is Barbara Equal. I'm working at the FAO Liaison Office in uh, Washington, D.C. and it is my great pleasure today to uh, meet with Dr. Joyce Poye, who has been appointed as FAO Special Ambassador for the International Year of Pulses 2016 for North America. Dr. Joyce Boye, first of all, congratulations for your nomination as a FAO Special Ambassador for the International Year of Pulses 2016 for North America. How does it feel uh, to be appointed to this position? Thank you very much, uh, Barbara. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to work with the FAO um, this year, the International Year of Pulses, to promote the production and consumption of pulses around the globe. Pulses are a wonderful uh, group of crops and uh, they are good for the health. Uh, when you add pulses to the diet, they help to improve the nutrition of the diet and uh, it's a privilege to have this opportunity to work with the FAO to promote such a, a wonderful group of crops. And It's really not about pulses, it's really larger than that. Uh, we're talking here about uh, the sustainability of, of agriculture and agricultural production systems because of the attributes of pulses to uh, fix nitrogen in the soil. So it's, it's such a wonderful opportunity to uh, work with the FAO uh, during the year. What are your objectives for this year? What I'm hoping to do is to work with the FAO um, to communicate the great attributes of, of pulses. Um, to be an advocate um, in many ways and uh, the role is for North America so that's Canada and the, and the US and I'm hoping to work with the other ambassadors as well to share the wonderful message about uh, pulses um, using um, the, the word pulse itself, uh, P um, of uh, pulse refers in many ways to the good source of protein we have in, in pulses for a growing uh, global uh, population um, the U in um, pulses uh, refers uh, to the use, the diverse use of uh, pulses. We, we have uh, a number of pulses, so peas, chickpeas, uh, lentils, beans, they come in different shapes and colors and flavors and they're just beautiful panoply of um, foods and you can use them in a wide variety of, of ways. Um, the L in uh, pulses um, represents um, living well it's a healthy lifestyle and um, as I said earlier pulses uh, contain high amounts of protein they're low in fat uh, they are high in fiber which is good for gastrointestinal health it supports good bacteria in, in the gut um, it has good micronutrients um, S is for sustainability uh, when you have pulses as part of an agricultural production system uh, they help to fix nitrogen and uh, reduces the inputs of uh, chemical fertilizer they're also good for the environment. Um, you don't require as much water um, for growing pulses as you do for other sources of protein. And in so doing, they have a low water footprint, which is good uh, for the environment. And the S uh, represents uh, security, food security. Pulses are the dried seeds of peas, chickpeas, lentils, beans, lupins, and by their nature, they lend themselves to storage, uh, which helps to decrease uh, food waste and loss, and is, is, is good for food security. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In your career as a researcher, what were some of the surprises that uh, you uh, came across uh, when you were looking at pulses? I, I have been a research scientist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada for almost uh, 20 years now and uh, for about 15 years I had the privilege of working with uh, pulses. Canada is the leading uh, producer and exporter of um, pulses, primarily peas and lentils. And uh, the government, as well as the private sector, has uh, supported pulse research tremendously. And I was fortunate enough to work with a number of researchers on in, in the area of pulses. So we looked at techniques to process pulses to make them more um, uh, usable. A lot of people talk about uh, the time it takes to cook pulses, and so we did a lot of work on how to use uh, pulses in the form of flowers, um, how to use them in um, a variety of food systems like bakery products um, in yogurt. And so when you add pulses, believe it or not, when you add pulses to yogurt, uh, the presence of the pulses helps to support the growth of the good bacteria in, in yogurt. 
Uh, we also use them in salad dressings. Um, we were able to make allergen-free cookies uh, from pulses. And we also did research that showed that uh, pulses have the ability to bind bile acids, and that may help explain their mechanism for reducing cholesterol. Uh, we know that consumption of pulses can help reduce cardiovascular disease risk, and one of the uh, mechanisms might be the ability of pulse flowers and proteins to bind bile acids and help to uh, remove them uh, from uh, the gastrointestinal tract. And in so doing, you have more cholesterol that is used to make the bile acids and that helps reduce the levels of cholesterol in, in the blood. The other thing we found which was interesting is that uh, pulses uh, contain proteins and peptides that are able to um, inhibit uh, the angiotensin one converting enzyme, um, which may help uh, to lower blood pressure. So this enzyme is an enzyme that helps in, in regulating blood pressure and when you inhibit it, uh, you're able to lower blood, blood pressure. So some proteins and peptides and pulses uh, have this ability and it's nice to have um, a group of crops that are a good source of protein, um, good complement to cereal proteins because they have amino acids that are lacking um, in cereals and to be able to use them in such a wide variety of ways and to know that they have uh, health benefits. There's other research that has shown that consumption of uh, pulses can help to reduce uh, diabetes risk. Uh, pulses are high in fiber, and we know that uh, consumption of high amounts of fiber can help to reduce colon cancer risk. Uh, and so overall, it's, it's a great message uh, about pulses, and to know that as part of an agricultural production system, they help to enhance the sustainability of agriculture, makes it uh, a very good uh, group of crops to work with, and I was very fortunate to have had this opportunity. Mm -hmm. So at the end of this uh, year, what do you hope to have achieved? My hope is to work with the FAO uh, to communicate the wonderful attributes of uh, pulses. Um, I'm hoping to work with uh, the private sector and the public sector uh, to get uh, producers and processors and consumers to come together and rally around pulses and pulse research and, um, promote production of pulses and the inclusion of pulses as part of uh, global crop uh, rotation systems um, to help our food processors to find ways to use pulses and to expand the number of products that we have on the market that contain pulses and to make pulses a regular part of the diet uh, for um, people in North America and around the globe. Dr. Boyd, thank you very much for this uh, interview. We are going to work together with you and support your work, and uh, we very much look forward to it. Great. Delighted. Looking forward to that.